Good morning everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. So this week's video is something that I've probably wanted to do for, I don't know, probably about the last four or five years. Um, this stems back to when we first moved in and we had lots of problems with uh, water leaks and all of those sort of things, but I'll tell you about that later. For today's project, today's project, today's tomorrow's project, depending on how long it takes, is you see this tap here that's got this beautiful, lovely looking blue, I don't know what you want to call it, conduit really, that insulates the main water pipe that obviously feeds the tap that you can see. All I want to do really is just tidy it up, make a little box for it so that it doesn't look so bad. Um, so yeah, we'll just build a little wooden frame, probably put a set of doors on it or maybe one door, I don't know, it depends how big because obviously we got to see what we can do with with this this mess because i don't want to cut that because i might i might use that for some more uh, cabling or such if i ever need to put any more electrics in the building so anyway that's that's the idea for today i'm going to try and get that done and dusted so let's crack on <laughs> Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's quite interesting really how we ended up with this beautiful blue conduit. Basically when we first moved into the property about, I don't know, six years ago now, we had some real problems with uh, water leaking out. The water company was ringing us up and saying, do you realise how many cubic metres of water you're using a day? And we're like, well surely if we're losing that amount of water it should be obvious. You know, there should be water everywhere around the property or leaking into the property or the ground should be super muddy and all of that sort of stuff. However, it turned out that when we spoke to the previous owner, they'd had the water company ringing them for months telling them that there was a problem, but they didn't believe them. They thought it was a scam. And in the end, we found out that the leak was next to our well. And of course, all that was happening was all that extra water was being thrown down into the well. Now, obviously to get this repaired wasn't the cheapest thing in, in the world. I seem to remember it being around about 3,000. But one of the good things about being in France is if you sell a property with a known issue, the previous owner has to resolve it, especially when there's been a history such as this one that it already existed. Anyway, an interesting little anecdote about how we ended up <laughs> with our delightful little plastic conduit because this was part of the many things that they needed to replace um, when they had to dig up and make sure that the new uh, main water line coming into the house was going to be strong enough because obviously another thing is the fact that the distance we are away from our main village the water pressure is incredibly high so if you don't have good and i mean high pressure hoses it's just going to do it again but touch wood um we haven't had anything since anyway that's the story of how i ended up having to build this tiny little box
Another thing to note is pretty much with all of these little projects that I'm doing at the moment, all of this wood is just recycled. It's broken down pallets. Uh, the framing wood that I'm using has come from the roof from when we redid the roof a couple of years ago. Um, especially with the how expensive wood is at the moment, anything I can get my hands on. And luckily, as I've mentioned in previous videos, there's one of our neighbours runs his own wood shop. So it's absolutely great. He's very kindly, instead of simply breaking it all down, which of course costs him money because somebody has to come and collect it, he gives us a call. He says, right, if you can, come and get it. If not, it's going down the dump. And trust me, every single time without fail, jump in the car, get the trailer, get it done. So that's it, it's the end of the day and we've made it. Our little project is all sorted. It's nothing too crazy, but it's something, as I mentioned before, that I really wanted to get done. And it does look better than it did. Obviously, I still need to wait for the paint to dry. As you can see, it's still a little bit patchy. And if I'm honest, it could probably do with a second coat. But at least it's a lot better than just having that little fella and this this horrible blue thing just hanging around. So yeah, can he do it one-handed? Can he, can he, he's got it. Yeah, winner. Right, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.